What happens if a doctor removes your pancreas today? So insulin is often misunderstood, guys. Despite being a viral hormone, some people see it as a villain. Now, often diabetics avoid insulin due to fear or misinformation. I'm not saying too much insulin is a good thing for you, but what happens if you have no insulin at all? Imagine if someone removed the pancreas of a healthy person. Within a few hours, their blood sugar will skyrocket to 500 milligrams per deciliter. Now, what do you think? You think that would happen? Tell me what you think. Well, insulin is vital. Why? Because it is a hormone made by pancreas. It helps regulate your blood sugar levels by allowing cells to absorb the glucose, but also to prevent the blood sugar going up because your liver and your kidneys are making glucose all the time. And the only way to regulate that is to have some insulin on board so that your blood sugar does not want to keep going up. Insulin has to stay in your bloodstream at a certain level. When you eat, of course, your blood sugar is going to go up a little bit, right? And of course, pancreas will release the insulin so that the cells can say, okay, well, let's invite the glucose inside and use it for energy. Well, without insulin, that process cannot happen. Insulin isn't just important, it's actually essential. So it helps the glucose absorption. It's an anabolic hormone. It helps your body build protein, for example. Without it, your body cannot function properly at all, and your blood sugar will remain dangerously high, leading to diabetic ketoacidosis, coma, you name it. When your blood sugar goes too high because you are missing insulin in your body, you're gonna have thirst, frequent urination, fatigue, because you're not using the glucose and it's just running in your system. So this happens especially with type one diabetics, but for type two diabetics who are insulin deficient, and no matter what they do, they're glucose is remaining high. They're on a very low carb diet or no carb diet. They exercise, the blood sugar is still high. There are a lot of type two diabetics like that. Now, when I tell them, well, at this point, you know, you've been diabetic for 20 years and everything is really not helping. You know, even the supplements, people say, just give me a supplement. Well, supplements are great, but they're not the last minute savers. You have to start your supplements way early on in your insulin resistance stage, pre-diabetes stage, not the last minute. And if you are really running in the 300s, 400s, sometimes you have no choice. After all the diet and exercise you're doing, you have to have a little bit of an insulin, like I said, to just control the blood sugar going up on its own. Because without enough insulin, even if you eat no sugar, no carbs, your blood sugar will continue to go up from liver and kidney just making glucose uncontrollably. And as a result, you're gonna have Complications, you can be as stubborn as you want, but then you are basically not buying time. Every minute you have high blood sugar, you're damaging your kidney, you're damaging your nerves, you're damaging your eye, you're damaging your heart and your vasculature. Now, one of the biggest risks is diabetic ketoacidosis. That happens when you really lack insulin. It actually happens to people who take sometimes Jardines or Farsiga, which is a risk factor. It doesn't happen to all of those people, but if you don't really have insulin in your body and then you take Jardines or Farsiga, etc. Metformin sometimes can contribute to that, but sometimes people go into diabetic ketoacidosis. Now, remember to take the quiz in the description below, by the way, in the pinned comment section, because you're gonna, you're gonna test your knowledge, you're gonna get some points, and people who have a lot of points will win. And some of you will win $1,500, and, and up to 10 people will win money. So take it, it's easy. Three, four questions. Let's talk about insulin resistance. Everybody's concerned about that. Before diabetes develops, people develop insulin resistance, right? This means that your cells do not respond well to insulin, uh, forcing your pancreas to work harder and harder to produce more insulin. As a result, you know, you develop insulin resistance, you develop obesity. If you are sedentary, poor food, diet choices, genetics all play a role, at the end of the day, you become diabetic. So tell me what is causing insulin resistance for you, right? It's okay to sometimes accept it. Now, imagine being married to someone though who is very demanding. And over time, what, you have, what happens? You get burned out. Similarly, sometimes pancreas gets overworked due to this insulin resistance and eventually it cannot really keep up and starts to fail. Then you become diabetic. So why do people fear insulin so much? Many people fear insulin because they see it as a sign of failure. They think that needing insulin means that they haven't managed their diabetes well at all. But like I said, some people will do everything right, but will still have high blood sugars. It's not 
your failure. It is sometimes a genetic makeup. So tell me, do you fear insulin? I write in the comment section below, just tell me what you, what you are thinking about insulin. One myth about insulin, that insulin causes complication, like, if my father took some insulin and then he died in two years. You know, people think that. Another myth is uh, insulin is addictive. One you go, once you go on insulin, that's it, you're on it forever. Well, that's not true either. Now, how many people think that way? Write in the below, or in the description below. Another common myth is that if you start using insulin, you will end up with all sorts of low blood sugars all the time. Well, again, that's not true. A lot of people, for example, adopting a healthy diet, regular exercise, activity, etc., with some certain herbal supplements, etc., just get the overall life together, get the insulin sensitivity better, and next thing you know, if your body is making insulin, some, that may be enough. So most of the time, insulin is bad for you if you are using insulin as a clutch where, you know, hey, I'm just gonna have some dessert and some rice, whatever, I'm just gonna take some insulin and call it a day. Well, then you're not doing yourself a favor. Some people get frustrated because supplements don't work the, the way they want. Well, let's talk about the role of the holistic supplements. Well, they have a multifaceted role in diabetes management. You know, they are not drugs that, that you may think. That's why we call them supplements. So they are not quick fixes. You know, they may not help you immediately, but they have a lot of long-term benefits like reducing the inflammation, gradually improving the insulin resistance, things like omega-3 fatty acids, curcumin, berberine, those are all great to reduce the systemic inflammation, which is often elevated in people with diabetes anyway. So over time, these holistic approaches can help your body. Again, supplements are not a replacement of good lifestyle either, just like insulin is not. So always remember also to Discuss with your family members, discuss with a holistic care professional who understands the supplements to be able to, you know, help yourself. If you're watching this channel, you probably know a lot, probably more than your doctor knows. Self-education, self-training is also effective when it comes to understanding what supplements, what herbs you can use to help your body overall. Don't view them as a lost resort, but use as a necessary step as a part of holistic plan in your you know, overall health and diabetes management. Consult an endocrinologist. Sometimes you may have to need a medication and a supplement combined together. Nothing wrong with that. And stay motivated by watching this channel, talking to your family, you're staying involved and accept that you have diabetes, but it's a very manageable condition and it's not going to affect your health. As long as you have that positive attitude, you are good to go, my friend. But thanks for watching. Remember to write a comment below and take the quiz below, and I will see you in the next video. Hey guys, I hope you are enjoying this channel so far, and I hope you subscribed already. Uh, it, if you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.